Have you ever wondered what it would be like to play a more perfect version of Minecraft? With more beautiful trees, a wider variety of animals, and new adventures around every corner? Minecraft is a great game, but what if it was even better? Hey, it's Emmy, and welcome to my Better Minecraft series, where it's everything wonderful that Minecraft has to offer, but even better. As you can see, I've been working on the interior of our brand new starter home just a bit. Whoops, uh, don't mind the crafting table. It is still a work in progress over here. But I think it's coming along quite nicely. Check out these amazing couches. This is part of the mod called Handcrafted. They've got all sorts of really cool decorative items such as couches, chairs, tables, and even trophies. And I also tried to cozy the place up a bit with a few paintings. And, oh, I love the paintings in this mod pack. And over here, I put a shelf on the wall with a hat stand to hold the magician's hat that we got last episode. Granted, I am no interior decorator, but I'm having a lot of fun playing with all of the different items available. I'm sure, oops, I'm standing on the couch. <laughs> I'm sure there's many more that I haven't discovered yet, but for now, I really think it's looking extremely cute. Now, if you follow me right over this way, we'll head into the kitchen. Now here we've got a couple of new things. We've got this snow cap oven from the Blue Skies Dimension. Not entirely sure how it works yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. And right over here, we've got a food prep table. At first when I took it, I just took it because I thought it was a cute little decorative item. But now I realize it can do some really cool things that I'm still learning, but I found in the Blue Skies Manual. It talks about how you have to have at least three ingredients, the maximum of five. And depending on which items you put in there, it gives you different potency of food. And it looks like you can even do potions for sauces and some flowers for different spices and get all sorts of different results. So lots to play with there. And because of that, I went ahead and put together this humble little garden over here. Nothing too terribly fancy, but with all those foods that we weren't sure what to do with that we found early on, I have planted them over here and we will try some of them in the recipes. Okay, so it said a minimum of three ingredients, maximum of five. So I don't know what kind of a combination this is. Rice, cabbage, and onions. Uh, do I don't know if I need something here. Do I need like a, I don't know, a plate or something there? All right, let's get rid of the rice because that seems kind of weird. So let's put a tomato. Ahaha, ah, look at that. Sweet. Now I wonder if I put bread on either side, would it make a sandwich? Ah, no, but that would have been cool. Um, all right, well, let's let's make that and see what we think. Let, let, me, uh, let me put a potato in there just to give a little bit more variety, but that's really very cool. <laughs> That's a, that is a great sound effect, like the knives scraping together. All right, Chef Ramsay, let's see if I pass. Oh, that's really cool. So it's not like the, um, what is that stew that you get from the, the mushroom, the mushroom stew or whatever. It's not like that where it's one meal and you throw the bowl away. You get multiple meals. That's fantastic. So what are we going to work on today? Well, I was thinking we've got so many adventures that we have passed up because I feel like we don't have the right armor or the right tools or weapons. So I think today we should spend some time doing some mining and trying to get ourselves some diamonds so that we can upgrade what we have and go out and tackle some of those adventures that are waiting for us. So grab your gear, my friends, and let's head out. So my plan is to just try to find some low ground and start digging down. I have no idea what awaits us underground if there are a lot of changes from the vanilla Minecraft. I'm sure there are some, but I'm going into this blind. I'm hoping there's nothing too terrifying down here. All right. Woo, look at all of them. But yeah, I like blocking off like this so uh, that way they come to me and I can hopefully take care of them in the safest manner possible. Oh, it's twins. All right, let me just keep putting these torches around and getting this place lit up a little bit. There's too many of them. Oh, <laughs> Stop. why won't he just go down? 
follow the stream. You shouldn't be still shooting at me. Just fall. All right, now can I bury myself? Oh, this is my last ditch effort that I don't have. I don't have any building blocks showing. And the little nerd still wants to bite my ankles. And I don't <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. Junior's down. I just gotta time this. Ooh, come on. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. These are never proud moments for me, but I'm telling you, burying myself has saved me more times than I care to remember. All right, still no diamonds. Ooh. Did we just find the stronghold? No, did we? All right, let's see what we've got. Oh dear. Is this the library? That's a lot of cobwebs though. An enchanting table. Okay, this does not look like anything I recognize. All right, let's take a little peek out in the hallway and see what we have got. I have no idea what the structure is. I am grateful that there is nothing that is trying to come out and kill us at this point. Beautiful chandelier. And I guess we should kind of start lighting things up a little bit. All right, I think I'm going to just break the door down in case I need to make a hasty exit. Oh, I didn't expect to see one of these fellas here. I'm not sure if this is all their residence or not. Oh, clear them out one by one. Let's see what lies beneath. Oh, I hate all spiders, but these are the worst kind of spiders. No! <laughs> save yourself, Emmy! Oh my gosh. I mean, seriously, save yourself, Emmy. Oh, I don't even have time to block myself off. Oh, that was nasty. So at this point, my inventory was already full, so I had to head back home so I could empty my pockets and grab my backpack. Ooh, finally some fresh air. All right, let's see where we've landed. Oh, perfect. I wish I could tell you that I planned it that way, but it was some extremely fortunate dumb luck. All righty, we should be all set and ready for round two. I admittedly have very little experience with mod packs, so this has all been kind of new to me. And the obvious things to appreciate about it is I really love like all of the trees and the new wood types and the decorations and all those visible, tangible things. But another thing that I have really, really enjoyed is the amount of adventure that it's added to the game. And that is so much what I love, not just about this particular mod pack, but Minecraft in general. I love the adventure and exploring and finding hidden little gems tucked away. And Oh my gosh, it's like every time I turn around in this world, there is something new to discover. And at least now we can finally say we found some diamonds in this adventure. While I'm still not entirely sure what this structure was supposed to be, we definitely managed to get lots of goods out of it that will help us on our upcoming adventures. So this was definitely not a wasted side trip on the way to getting diamonds. But for now, it is time to run back home and put away all of our treasures. So we actually have more diamonds than I remember having, <laughs> but I am not complaining. It will be enough to do what we need to do up here. Let's make our first diamond pickaxe. Reroll enchantment. So that's kind of a cool feature to have. All right, come on, give me something good. I love unbreaking. Oh, fantastic. Efficiency and fortune, even if it's only fortune two, that is amazing. 
And you know, it would be foolish since we're already here and we've got the diamonds. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some enchanted armor as well. All right, both a chest plate and a helmet should be good. I do love that. Okay. Nice. Yep, I'll take it. All right, I am very, very pleased with all of that. Oh, this feels so good to have a little extra protection. Oh, I forgot I had a quiver. Nice. You know, I think it's time we use some of the other enchanted books we have gathered along the way. And let's see if we've got anything worth using. Definitely mending. And vein mining. Interesting. Yeah, let's put both of those on the pickaxe and see what kind of damage we can do. I typically name my fortune pickaxe Lucky Strike, and this will be no exception to that rule. Wow, that is a loaded pickaxe. All right, let's run back down to the mines real quick and test it out. I want to see what that vein mining is all about. Oh, finally! Some diamonds! Let's see if that vein mining does anything. All right, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cool! If you look down there, you can see that there were multiple blocks broken. Even that kind of hidden one off to the right there. That was eight diamonds. Oh my gosh, and it would have been really easy to miss that one off to the right. I love it. So what I did is I went into my keybinds and I did a search for a vein. To see if there was a keybind associated with it. Ooh, yes, more diamonds. So if I assigned it to the letter V, Oh, I love it. And so if you hold down the letter V and you mine the block, then it grabs all of the blocks within that radius. All right, it sounds like we have found ourselves another spawner. Sounds rather spidery, if you ask me. At least, there we go. At least nothing has attacked us yet. That is a good sign. Kind of surprised, to be honest. Yep, definitely a, a spider... Oh, there they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get the sword. Not the there we go. Come on. At least they're not cave spiders. Oh, cave spiders are the worst. Eh. What a mess. Oh, okay. Oh, other side. Yes, that's something good. We've got to get a jukebox. And plus, we still have the disc that we got from that Showtime Theater that we have yet to listen to. That will be a brand new music track I've never heard before. All right, let's see what's in this one. I still don't know what these do. I have to learn what those are. Oh, a name tag, definitely, yes. Now I have to give my disclaimer again. I never, ever break spawners in regular Minecraft. But since I have no intentions of doing anything with the spider spawner, and I know they drop little spawner fragments, I really want to figure out what those do, so I'm going to continue to collect them. And hopefully one day I will understand it all. Okay, I just noticed something that we have to test out. So I noticed when I hovered over this name tag, it said that if you click left shift and the right button, that you can set a name without even having to use an anvil. I mean, yes. So let's see, left shift, right. Oh, that is really cool. Let's see if it takes a level away from us too. So I'm going to name one of these sheep after my friend Caribou. Ram, the ram, one of these ram. There it is. Very cool. That is a very nice feature. I like that. Now. I'm thinking that since we've got ourselves some more diamonds, we should complete the set of armor and make ourselves a diamond sword. And then we will head out on our big adventure. Make some pants. We'll make some boots. You know what? I don't have enough levels to enchant them. Oh, but I've got some unclaimed quest rewards. Will that give us some extra XP? Oh, yes, it will. Fantastic! All right, well, every little bit helps. All right, unbreaking two. Okay, better than nothing. 
on breaking three. Oh, yes. I that's great. Uh, Depth Strider in particular I'm happy about. All right, let's let's do this. I have one last thought is <laughs> I love my pickaxe so much. I think I'm actually going to leave that behind. It shouldn't be necessary for this adventure. All right, off we go to our big adventure. Oh, here it is finally, the place that I have wanted to visit more than any other that I have seen so far. I have no idea what it's actually called. I just call it the Mooshroom Village, and I am super excited to see what it's all about. All right, this looks like a good spot to set up base and set our respawn point. Okay, before we go charging in full speed ahead, I am going to prepare for the worst case scenario. In case we do die in there, I want to make sure we have got some supplies in our little safe haven here so that we can make our way back to our corpse and retrieve our possessions. So a sword and some food should do it. Good grief! I didn't even have a chance to leave! Oh, it's going to be like that, is it? All right, let's begin our approach and see. Oh, of course, a spawner. Oh, I just, I can't break it. I can't. All right. Oh, I know they're following me. <laughs> All right. They're just going to keep running away so they can't hit me. Thank goodness for the bow and arrow. Look out, little buddy. I mean, they shouldn't still be spawning. Oh, but they are. <laughs> they're riding a cow. Oh my gosh! Oh, there's so many of them! Oh, they're not stopping! Oh dear! Oh dear! Run! Just run! And never look back! It's getting dark and I need to sleep! I am not giving up! I will not go down without a fight! Or a snack! All right, what if I get a little bit of height on them? Oh, why are there so many? All right, go for the bow. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, no, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh, I can't even switch to the sword. I can't. I'm going to kill it with my torch. Oh, my gosh. Just, oh, focus. Focus, Emmy. All right, try this one more time. This is not without merit. A trap door. All right, let me get rid of him, and then I've got an idea. And while you're distracted... Oh, there we go. Just a bit of quick redecorating. Gonna borrow a few bits and pieces here. And that. Put that there. And the old safety door trick. We can get in, but they cannot. And I do believe we are about to put it to the test. Oh, oh, sorry, cow. It's working like a charm. All right. Now we can safely clear the waves and try to make our way in. Actually, I'm kind of wondering if there is a spawner up top because there's so many of them still spawning inside. So I think this is probably as good a plan as any. And plus we can clear the roof guys who are just sitting there and not moving. What the heck? They must have been bunched. Oh, sorry. Not bunched on. Sorry. Bunched on top of each other. Good grief. How many are there? Thank you. No, thank you. No. Oh, they're everywhere. Run to the safe house! <laughs> Thank goodness for the safe house. They can just come to us and we'll go in and try again. I wish I had sweeping edge, but I'm not complaining. All right. All right, that clears that round. Oh, no, it doesn't. There's so many! Look at them all! What the heck? Okay, I've really got to see if there is another spawner in here. Oh! Dang it! I can't even set foot in there! So either they're still spawning from... Ouch! 
from that one or there's another one okay i'm going to try going up to the upper level again and seeing if there's a spawner up there there's got to be another spawner because there's just way way too many of them all right let's oh there is another one up here oh quickly please don't spawn anything I, I this is probably overkill on the torches but i don't care all right, what does this... If you walk with the fungus, you'll never be out of spores. What? Oh, no! <laughs> it was a trap! Wow, how dare they leave a sign there? That's just... That's rude. Oh, gosh. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, no! Don't kill myself. Oh, back to the safe house. <laughs> Jeesh. Behold, the dumbest plan that I have ever come up with. <laughs> if I can pull it off. But I can't bring myself to break the spawner, so I'm going to try to carry it out. <laughs> Is that going to go well? Oh, it's so slow. No, no, no. <laughs> Back to safety. <laughs> I don't, don't know why I'm trying this, but I'm going to try it again. As soon as I can get up there. I don't know. I just, it's just a unique spawner. I can't, I can't destroy it. Oh, they spawn. <laughs> it's not good. They spawned out here. Am I faster than the cow? <laughs> Try it. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, I can do it. Oh, okay. He's actually, I, I must be making progress because I don't think he's behind me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going to put it underwater because I don't know what else to do with it. I think I've done it! I actually did it! Just put it right there. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm assuming they won't spawn underwater. <laughs> okay. Alright, I call that a win! Alright, let's take care of this upstairs spawner. I don't care about it quite as much now that we've got the other one safe. Ouch! That guy packed the punch! Alright, oh! Dang it! Oh, I'm stuck! I can't, I can't get out! I can't get out! Oh, no! <laughs> After everything that I just pulled off, that's how I'm gonna go down. <laughs> just, oh, that's so wrong. Oh, good thing I had my death supplies ready, though. All right. Let's go right this wrong. Hopefully we can... Oh! Oh my gosh, one hit. I was one hit away from getting out of that. Are you kidding me? I don't feel bad for breaking it now. <laughs> all right, cow, take good care of me. All right, let's see if all this trouble has been worth it. <laughs> Not really. I will take that for my troubles and that as well. All right, this should be much safer to get into now. Let's take a look at how the other half... <gasps> a jukebox. Okay, it's been worth it. And a new doorbell, please. Well, that's interesting. Some cauldrons and some hoppers. I wouldn't mind having those. Ooh! Oh, where did you come from? Ah! <laughs> Hopefully that's the last of them. All right, that is not a bad haul. Honestly, that was a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be, but oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Uh, it did not disappoint, that's for sure. All right, let's head out for the next adventure. I don't know what it is, but there it is. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, uh, here, Trident. Why are there all these leads in the water? All right, hang on. I'm not giving up this time. I'm going to face my trident fears right after I set my spawn in case I die. Or, oh, it's the drowned warden love child. All right, I'm facing my fears. Please, <laughs> don't kill me. Oh, we're doing pretty good. All right, our armor's legit. It's really not taking that much of a hit. Ah, spoke too soon. All right, one more to go. Victory! What, a lionfish? What the heck is that? All right, now, where were we? What the? No idea. 
Speaking of no idea, I have no idea what to expect in here. Oh, I see a spawner. Oh, I hate silverfish. They're so annoying. This actually, I was mistake. Oh gosh, there's so many. There's, oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Retreat, that's <laughs> what I do best. At least the water slows them down. Oh my gosh. All right, boat out, get out, get out. Wow. Okay, as I was saying, I was mistaken back in the Mushroom Village when I said that I never break spawners. The only time I don't think twice about it is at the end portal. I will gladly break the silverfish spawner because I see absolutely no use for them whatsoever. Although I actually don't mind a little bit of the XP right now. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay, let's try this again. We will run in and break it, then break it. No, I can't break it. Quit hitting me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so annoying. You guys are so an- No, look at all of them again. Retreat, retreat again. Third time's the charm. All right, I'm gonna try some water just to see if- No, if I can get them to just stay away long enough so I can- Oh! All right, one more time. No. Mm, okay. Break, 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 break. No, 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 no. Just go away. Please go away. They just keep coming and they don't stop and I can't get it broken. It's so annoying. Okay, new plan. I'm going to pill her up. Oh my gosh, I think it's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> Victory! It worked! Oh my gosh, all right. Ah, oh, why didn't I think of that in the first place? Dummy. All right, let's see what the upstairs holds. Oh, it's cute. Ew. All right, maybe this is the good one. Ew. So far, that looks like the most valuable item to take. All right, I'm happy to have another anvil. Yay! <laughs> all right, one more level. Certainly, this is where the most incredible loot of all in the history of mankind has ever been kept. It's got to be up here on this third floor. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's a... Oh my gosh, it's a spider spawner. A cave spider spawner! <laughs> Oh, I don't know why they didn't spawn, but thank goodness they didn't. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been horrible. Well, mateys, I have spotted a ship on the way to our next adventure. So apparently we have an adventure wrapped inside of an adventure. Let us see if it is friend or foe. It is most definitely foe. Oh, all right, we can do this. After the last couple of hard-fought battles we had, I felt fairly confident that we would be able to handle this one. We had a little bit of an advantage because we had a little bit of distance on our side, and the crossbow has been proving to be extremely effective. I'm also learning as we go to be very methodical about how we enter different structures. And I always try to leave myself an escape plan in case things go wrong. This was actually a perfect example of it because I knew that with the boat, we could get some distance between us and be much more safe until we could get in to break the spawner. Oh, and have one last adversary at our heels. But it's okay, unless you panic and don't click on the boat properly. But it's still okay because we've got the distance, we've got the advantage, and we've got the victory. The next stop on our journey is one of the better mine shafts. That was actually the very first structure we encountered when starting this new world. I did, in fact, it was so brand new, I didn't even have any torches at the time. All right, that's quite a interesting little surprise on our way down. That was easy enough. All right, we'll grab a few things out of there. Not too terribly much that we need out of here. It definitely sounds like we've got some company down here. 
job one is to be placing some torches oh not again <laughs> as with any mine shaft there was definitely our fair share of monsters hiding within oh, what is what is that oh it's another it's a mob boat loser a rascal oh i kind of remember I believe you have to find him three times, and on the third time, then he will give you a surprise. I have been looking around, but I cannot seem to find our little rascally friend. I Honestly, I haven't really found that much of anything, except for mobs. Not sure if there's anything worthwhile down there, but might be worth a look. Ooh, there's a rascal! I don't know if it counts as the same one or not, but there's a tap anyway, and a poof. Ooh, I see him again. <laughs> I like the noise they make. Hello. All right, I don't know if that, I don't know if I counted as a tap. Dang it! You have to ruin everything, spider. Ooh, hello. I see you too. Ooh. Even better. Oh, I wish I had my good pickaxe now. Dang it. Oh, well. All right, let's see if this is the second time or the third time. I don't even know now. Hello. <gasps> oh, we got something. Oh, that's so cool. All right. We got a bundle. Ooh, and a pickaxe. Ooh, and it's a fortune two pickaxe at that. You know, honestly, I'm about ready to get out of here. Oh, I think it's the first rascal! <laughs> Back in the mine shaft. Let's see. Let's... Hello! I'm sorry, I have to say that every time he says it, I can't help it. Oh, he does teleport away every time, doesn't he? Oh, I think I found you, you little rascal, you. Do we get a third time's a charm, or is that only two? Dang it! Okay, that's two. I know it's silly, but... Oh, there he is! The rascal has been my favorite part of the mineshaft. Another bundle. All right, what do we get this time? Wow, 16 iron ore blocks, and then the fortune two pickaxe? That's extremely generous. And the bundles are going to come in super handy as well. That was amazing. Honestly, that's my favorite part of, of this entire adventure down here. It's still around. Alright, that was interesting, but let's head out of here. I know we've done a lot of adventuring, but we are on the last leg of our journey. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is supposed to be a new and improved version of a woodland mansion. Okay, that just looks terrifying and I'm going to cover it up so I don't accidentally fall in it in a panic because we all know I do tend to panic from time to time. Alright, so a lever to do the trick here. And we will proceed with extreme caution. That's mildly terrifying. Okay, you know the battle cry. Retreat! <laughs> Let's get some distance. And that seemed to do the trick. I can still hear the grunting, so we're just gonna take a little peek. Ooh, there's two of them. Here's the red guy. Oh, I'm a little afraid of that. Whoa! What the heck? I have no idea. Oh, good grief. There we go. Is the coast all clear? Maybe? Right, let's see. A book? That's all that guy dropped? Well, that's a rip -off. Ooh, who are you? A basher? That's... What? That's weird. All right, he was relatively easy-ish. Okay, I believe we should stick with the method that has been working for us, and that is going in in a method that is the most safe for us. 
And in this case, it is going in through the window. Ooh, a provoker. Yikes. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that was supposed to be all about. Ooh, yes, absolutely. Ooh, this is good loot already. I'm excited about this one. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side of the building and see if we've got another room that we can break and enter. All right, that's the same one. Oh, yeah. Oops. Try it again. Oops. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Nobody is stepping out, so let's look over here. Oh, there he is. All right. We got it. Whoa, this could be bad. Okay. All right. Oh, did he drop? He did drop a totem. I see it. I see it. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I'm super, super happy to have that. All right. History in here has shown me that oftentimes there are things hidden behind these blocks. And there are things hidden. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> we took the shortcut. I guess we didn't need that. Uh, what about these blocks over here, though? Any... Yep, sticky pistons there. So where does this lead to? Ooh, this feels rather ominous. Alright, more of these blocks. So that must lead to somewhere... How can we do this safely? Okay, it's gotta be on the... Oh, it sounds awful. It sounds just awful. Ooh, they're over there to the left. Alright, let's sneak in this way. Oh my gosh! <laughs> terrifying! It's terrifying! I can't even get a shot! Oh my gosh, I fail. Alright, I need more space. Why are they all collected in the community bath? It doesn't make any sense. Ooh, what the heck? What was that? That was freaky. All right, let me block this off. Kind of. Oh, that's the best I can do. Oh. All right. Why are there all those zombies in there? Oh, my gosh. What on earth? Well, that was ugly, but I guess at least they were all collected in one central location. All right, let's see how scary these rooms are. All right, this looks pretty safe. I will take that. You never know when it might come in handy. And here comes our friendly neighborhood basher. Oh, I see. All right, that's all right. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Well, this is a rather interesting room. Definitely one for the Redstone fans of the game. There is definitely no shortage of bookshelves in this game. Oh, this one's a long shot. Oh, I got him. All right, I feel like we're getting through most of this now. All right, not bad. Backstabbing? That's interesting. And I believe we are done.